Hello peeps. Today I'm going to uh, start off with a, uh, a very basic, I mean, it's going to be straight up basic. Uh, if you want to learn how to play harmonica, I'm going to go through uh, starting off with what harmonica you should get and um, starting off uh, what you should be doing when you first get your harmonica, what, what you should be you know doing throughout the week throughout your practices and what have you so you know you get a lot of okay should i go a cheap harmonica versus an expensive harmonica you know honestly if it was left up to me uh far as the harmonica goes itself um i wouldn't go cheap i mean uh I mean, if you got a kid that you want to, you know, have him to start off, you might want to go cheap to kind of get him into it. But going cheap is going to hold you back. The instrument, actually, cheaper harmonics is actually harder to play. They're not as responsive. Um, you know, they, they leak air. Sometimes the reeds won't move. So you're really... You're, you're better off getting a, a decent harmonica around a $30, $40 range. Anything above that is a waste. Don't don't you don't don't buy a $75 harmonica or higher. It, it's it's just a total waste. And if you do get into it and you only play melodies, you got one harmonica. At least you'll have a thirty to forty dollar harmonica that will last you a long time and it won't hold you back if you want to step up your game plan you know what I mean so do yourself a favor go with a thirty to forty dollar range harmonica you know uh, owners has plenty of them um, other there's other brands uh, choose what's uh, what you think some people likes the wooden ones but some people prefers the the plastic combs, um, the you know the the wooden ones are a little bit hard to keep clean. Uh, they they tendency have right here. They usually have a a metal lip that the reed plates kind of sticks out right here, and it, it actually will hurt your lips if you play. So it's a little bit rough on the mouth using a you know wood comb. So but you know what, each to their own. Some people loves them, so I'm not going to knock them. So that's entirely up to you. Now, first starting off harmonica playing what key? Now, a lot of people will say start off with the key of C um, because it's it's middle. So that's not bad if that's okay in my opinion it's okay if you want to start off with the key of c if you're looking to play melodies you know stuff like that but if you're looking to bend notes and and you kind of like want to do some blues riffs and stuff like that me personally i would start off with a b flat reason being it's easier to learn how to bend notes on a b flat versus a c harmonica Trust me, I've tried to do it on the C, and I had a C for the longest time, and it it, it took me a while to 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 learn on a a C harmonica versus a B flat. Uh, you'll you'll see a big difference. It's just easier to bend the reeds on a B flat. It's it's a lot smoother sound. It's not as harsh to learn on. Even though a lot of blues is in the key of G, so you would need a C harmonica on that later. Okay, so so me personally, start off with the B flat. Go easy on yourself. Start off with the B flat. That's my own personal opinion. Everybody's got their own opinions. Uh, I'm not saying that that mine is the way to go. You know, you can go G, you can go C. You know, but my personal B flat. I'm telling you. Um, so, having said that, the 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 first thing that you should be doing is learning your rhythm and breathing techniques I mean learning how to hold it um, so 
what I'm going to do is first is the breathing, getting your breathing and your rhythm down. Uh, it's simple. You could hold the harmonica. There's really no set way of holding the harmonica. I mean, people has honestly have different ways. You got people holds it like this. You got people that wants to hold it like this. You see the difference? So to me, holding it like that, when you go into the lower registers, the lower holes, it it gets in the way of your mouth. So I prefer to kind of hold it more like, like that. Uh, when you cup, cup your hands around. Let me show you. Sorry about the angle of the camera, folks, but let me show you. So, I'm going to put this top down. Yeah, I know it's pretty bad to do this, but hey, sorry. When you hold it, look. Some people will do it like this and then hold it. Some people will just kind of do like a campfire. Some people... We'll kind of hold it like like so that's the way i hold it like i said you find out what's what works for you which way is the best way you want to hold it and stick with it there's no certain way because everybody hands you know bigger hands smaller hands you know what may work for me may not work for you remember that so that's why it's kind of hard to teach harmonica because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's mouth size, lip size, tongue size, hand size. It all makes a difference on how you play. So, you know, what works for me may not work for you. Remember that. Starting off. Okay. Starting off. The rhythm. First, I got a train rhythm video that will help you... Um, get started on the train rhythm so what you want to do say I would say practice this through your first week you need you need to work on this first week and pick it up a little bit first few holes ba bam blow out You can hold it a little bit. Draw in. Learn to breathe through the harmonica. You don't have to work hard to get the reeds moving. You don't have to work hard to get those reeds moving. If the reeds are not moving, there might be something wrong with your harmonica. Don't go. <laughs> you're going to hyperventilate yourself. And you're going to run out of air quickly. Trust me. I know I've done it before. So. So then you want to go twice. Pick up the pace, like I like I'm showing you in the uh, the train harmonica video. Go check it out if you haven't. Pick up the pace a little bit more. You want to do that for your first week. That's your first lesson. Start with that. And then my next video, it's going to be lesson number two, single notes. 
it's a little bit tough. Single notes is important. So do this rhythm, the simple rhythm. You can check out the, the train harmonica, uh, teaching how to do a train. You can work with that during, during this week because it kind of coincides with each other. So do yourself a favor, watch these two videos, practice, and then I'll have my next video up. Thank you and have a good day.